What's happening, Gundam Converge fans? Today we have uh, plus zero zero seven from Wave Pound Plus O two on the tenth anniversary waves, I guess. This came out in twenty twenty one. Sorry, that text is always so small, but there you go. And the other models from this particular wave are those guys there, and I reviewed a bunch of those. Basic stats of this robot, 24 meters, so a bit taller than your typical Gundam, and obviously looks a lot fatter as well. As usual, fandom here, seeing, uh, now this is Mobile Suit Zeta, as far as what cartoon is from. And let's see the blurb about this and learn about this robot a little bit. Fourth of five suits built by the new type Captain Shirako on Jupiter. <laughs> I haven't seen this cartoon, so I don't know what any of that means. It may be written in English, but it's all foreign to me. Okay, uh, most powerful possibly. Rare spatial recognition, generator output. Very thick armor, I think that's believable. It's a fat robot. Chew on that gum later. It's only two years old. No, it's done a brown. There's some brown spots. Nope, never mind. Load large and has a propellant. I'm trying to learn about this robot still. Four beam swords and a beam rifle, but it's got sub arms to hold extra weapons, so it can use four swords at once. Close quarters combat. Okay, well, the image is here. It's interesting that, you know, there was like a dark version, you know. And uh, you usually don't get a clear stand from these converged figures, but obviously it happened today. And these arms, do they come off? They're very thin pegs for such a big arm. I don't know why they chose to do that. This isn't an early release if it's from 2021. They could have made those much bigger. I don't, obviously with such big feet, I don't think you're gonna need that stand whatsoever. And it's got decent enough details down here. This is a really heavy converge, big chunky. I wonder if these come out. No, they don't. But they actually have a lot of it's a separate piece. I mean, there's a lot of air up there. Well, let me get in closer into the light. There's some sort of hose details or something that's gray. You know, back there, maybe. Or the ankle. There's some sort of stuff going on. Yeah, see, I think that's a hose. Maybe that's silver. You know, over here, at the back of the knee, there's other, other stuff going on there. So, I don't know if these are side thrusters on the feet. There as well. Got a nice vent detail there. Big skirt here, and then uh, big openings here. Okay, something's gonna go there. Yeah, really strange. It would choose to have such small pegs there. Uh, nice green here in these thrusters. I'm assuming those are thrusters. And I think the arms are gonna go in there. Those peg holes there. Some more vent details. Nice red hoses here in the torso. Little black on these uh, recesses there. Maybe those were cannons or something. Neck there. Okay, well, definitely bulky. This is the bulkiest uh, body I've seen so far in Converge. That isn't like a really big uh, robot. Let's see, this is the left arm. And so the hand is a separate piece, painted gunmetal. You have some red and black details there. Black on the back as well. And that doesn't seem to come apart, okay. And it's just a closed fist, sadly. Hopefully there's another fist somewhere. The right arm has an open trigger finger going on. And again, that's going to spin. And otherwise, the arm is the same. So, the, the rifle. Oh, I think it might be missing the handle. What is this? Probably the handle. I wonder if this goes into the bottom of the hand first. Or does it, does this actually, no, it actually holds it. Like a, that's a strange handle. But this must somehow trap 
Maybe that goes in there? Yeah, I think so. I gotta push that hand really up there, I think. And then this goes on top. Alright, so it kind of traps the hand. And the finger, trigger finger actually isn't, you know, pulling any sort of trigger, but it looks like it would be. So I do feel like that might get lost. I think I'll probably glue that together later on. Or now, hold on. Not forget. I didn't glue it together because I forgot. There's an option part set, so I might need that hand to come apart if I want to actually wield four swords after I get the option part set. So I guess that's obviously going to be the head, and it's got a pink metallic mono eye, which is nice. It's nice as metallic, and it's nice that you can actually pivot the eye in a different location, so that's cool. And, uh, how did that even go together? There we go. Yeah, very nice. You probably don't even need to take it apart to move the eye. Let's try it with the, the dental pick. Mm, yeah, it can be done with just like a you know, the end of a pencil or something, or a dental pick. And there is a little bit of a recess right here. Maybe it tries to center itself there. Let's, let's do it in the center and see what happens. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's all right. Kind of a weird head. It's like a traffic cone. And this is the only blue that I've seen on this robot so far. It's interesting that it wouldn't match, like, maybe the green or, or the red elsewhere, right? It's just a random blue. What the heck is this? Mm, okay. I think it goes upwards according to those images on the screen. So that goes there. It's got like a weird antennae. And then these little wing kind of things. Are these thrusters? I don't get the feeling that they're thrusters. So, I see. There's a peg hole way up there. So I'm assuming this actually is, has to be on this side. They made it idiot proof. And then this one, the peg is, you know, not in the top. It's more in the middle. So this must go this way here. All right. I think it would have been fine though, even without those pegs, so you have the option to display it the wrong way. I'm not against displaying things the wrong way. These are cartoons, right? They're not real things in real life. So why, why don't you give them? give people the option to play. All right, well, that is the O. It's a, uh, it looks like a garden gnome. <laughs> you know, one of those garden gnomes? Those little clay statues you find in people's front yards next to a well. All right, let's look at some other robots that supposedly came from the Zeta cartoon franchise. I haven't watched Zeta, of course, so I'm just going off fandom. This is Hamrambi, Hambrabi, number 153, and it also looks like a traffic cone, or like a garden gnome. And then with Deuce, this is number 275, similar general theme, right? Weird pointed things. <laughs> so, yeah, that seems to be a trend going on in Zeta. Uh, so number 156 is the actual Zeta. So that's the protagonist, the antagonist, I'm going to assume, because they're all like Xeonic, mono-eye kind of things. And then I'm a big fan of this Ashimar, which is number 80 in the Converge series. Some sort of like transformer. And I believe the Psycho Gundam, this is EX-17, was also shown. I put a bunch of decals on this Psycho. It doesn't come so colorful. That Psycho's big. All right, so an interesting mix of uh, styling, apparently, in Mobile Suit Gundam Zeta. And I do want to eventually get around to watching that, but it just means I, unless someone leaves me some sort of link where I can watch it for free, I'm going to actually have to buy it someday. But then I wouldn't be able to buy toys, right? So that's why I haven't watched it. All right, well, I think you've seen these other figures long enough. Let me start pulling these out. And let's just end up... Well, you know, it'll be faster. Let's get my individual coaster. Well, it's a big, fat robot. That's the extent of it. <laughs> I'm going to get the option part set, 
and uh, we'll see how that ends up uh, making this look better. But it looks pretty good as it is, I think. It's a unique design. Uh, the gun is nice. Uh, it's got a nice amount of details molded in with the panel gaps and grooves and thrusters and weapons and whatnot. So, hoses. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next Converge video, which will probably be tomorrow.